Hello, hello, what's up? Today's podcast is part four of 100 MCs. Yes, part four. We already up to part four already. How fast time flies. Now, the reason why I made this list and a breakdown to analyze it, T.I.'s is a South legend. Kumo D is a legend in the game, regardless of what. Been there, done that. T.I. holds it down. Kumo D holds it down. They both made a top 50 of their favorite MCs. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a podcast and combine that and call 100 MCs. So here we are today. On this one, I'm giving you 30 MCs. And on the next one, that's it. It is over. Part 5. Both of their top 5s. That'll be the podcast. That's the next podcast. Because I have something else in the works for the next one. Just bear with me. M.E. Dot, the main event. Welcome to your Hip Hop Fix. I'm here today to break down the next 30 MCs on a list. I'm not going to do like I do on the other one. It's going to go straight with the 15 for 15 and up. So here we go. On Kumo D's list, Redman, MC Light, Ice Cube, Method Man, Tretch, Jay-Z, Cool G Rap, Tupac, Queen Latifah, Nas, Lauryn Hill, Biggie, Chuck D, LL Cool J, and Grandmaster Kaz. Now on T.I.'s list, Jadakiss. Cameron, Kendrick Lamar, Rakim, LL Cool J, Lauryn Hill, 50 Cent, 3000, Ice Cube, Q-Tip, Q-Tip, Lil Wayne, DMX, Nas, Eminem, and Drake. Now, all these are good lists. Like I said, everybody has a different opinions with T.I. and Kumo D. I, I, love, I love breaking it down. I'm going to miss doing this project. Because your thing is 100 MCs. I, I broke down from both their lists. 100 MCs. Next one is, is 10. That's it. So on this one is 90 MC. Up to 90 MCs. That fast. Part 4 is here today. Thanks for all the support to all my fans, to my new subscribers, to my old subscribers. Keep supporting me. I'm going to support you. Now, let's go through the day list. Redman. Classic. Bars. All day. Catalog. Crazy. MC Light. To me, the second best female of all time besides Little Kim. That's my opinion. I did a podcast about that. Check that out called Female MCs. Ice Cube. Come on. West Legend. Movies. All kind of things he did. Ice Cube. NWA. Fuck the police. He been there, done that. Very good list. Ice Cube. I have it also on my, without having a New York, a New York, excuse me, without having an MC from New York State, he's on my list. Method Man. Say no more, Method Man. Wu-Tang all day. Tretch. Come on, OPP. You know by nature. Come on, Tretch held it down. Up down anthem. Jay Z. Say no more about Jay Z. Cool G rap. Cool G rap to me is like the first one that brought that gangster gangster talk with that New York rap way back in the eight from Ill Street Blues. Cool G rap always be a legend. Always be even on somebody's underrated list or top fives list. He's right in between. He don't get enough respect. Tupac. Can't say all about Tupac. We all we all know his catalog, what he did, the poetry man. Tupac is like ten different things in one. Queen Latifah, another great field MC. One of my favorite MCs on my my favorite uh, fifty MC list. Nas. Enough said. Respect Nas. Come on, Nas the man. Lauryn Hill, Lauryn Hill, Fuji's all day lost ones. That first album, classic. She did her thing. Never taken away from that girl. But I wish she would have kept rhyming. Now, that's my opinion. Biggie Smalls. Say no more. Chuck D. Knowledge all day. Public enemy. Held it down. Did his thing. L O Cool J. Ladies Love Cool James. To me, the best rap name ever in hip-hop. That's my opinion. And Grandmaster Kaz. One of the Earliest lyrical monsters from way back in the day. Come on, Cold Crush Brothers. Say no more about that, man. Yikes. Now we're going to go over to T.I.'s list. Jada Kiss. Come on, legend all day. Y.O. I'm still stuck on, like I say, him dropping a mic at the, at the garden, doing his thing. Left bad boy. Go to Rough Riders. Come on, man. Locks all day. D Block. Say no more about Jada. Cameron. Harlem legend, all day. Kendrick Lamar, where's your new album at? Kendrick Lamar, bar spinner for the West. 
He holds it down. I can't take away from that man. Country Law came in the game strong and attacked it, destroyed it, did his thing at the Super Bowl. Respect. And we got Rakim, the God MC. All day. Like I said on the last podcast, he make things, make people go home, write their rhymes up, destroyed the game, changed the language with his lingo. He came in the game and just changed it up. His flow was sick. Bars. He didn't curse until later on in his career. His first three albums, no features. No features on his first three albums. I, I think his first four albums ever had a feature. Ella J, once again, we already said it on um, Modi's list. Lauren Hill again. Come on. 50 Cent. 50 Cent. Hey, that's the, that's T.I.'s opinion. Holding it down. He's doing his thing. You see what 50's doing now. 50 came into the game strong. Get Richard Dodd trying. And he did it. 3,000, South Legend. Ice Cube, another legend. Q-Tip, could produce, he could rhyme, do all that. Trial Call Quest for life, all day. Lil Wayne, another South Legend. He held it down all the way from the, from the Hot Boys, all the way to her down, doing his thing. I don't care how he dresses, how he looks. Just keep them bars coming. DMX, rest your soul. Like, I can't say no more, it's rest your soul. DMX was, damn. I miss that brother. Nas once again, Eminem on Ti's list, and last but not least, Drake. Now a lot of people say, "Why is Drake on Ti's list?" That is his list. Do I see Drake as hip hop? He has to be kind of some sort of hip hop. I know he sings a lot. Yes, he does sing a lot, but that's his style. Just like I said, Nelly did it, Ja Rule did it, Fifty Cent started doing it. That is Drake. Drake took the whole singing thing to a whole another level. Now, Drake don't spit bars, but. On 0 to 100, he spit bars. Meek Mills, when he battled Meek Mills, he bodied him. Say no more. So, I give Drake his props. A lot of people are like, all right, are you giving Drake his props on this? Hey, he's, he's doing something. But this is, like I said, this is T.I.'s list compared to Kumo D's list. When we just going back and forth, comparing the MCs, different eras, different regions. Like I said, next podcast after this is something special for y'all. And then part five of, of this series will be over. It will be called 100 MCs, a.k.a. their top five. Because I'm down, like I said, I'm down to the last 10. Five on each side. That's why on this one, I did 15-15. Just get out the way. 30 MCs on this. Like I said, thank you for being there through the long journey. We just did a 90, 90 MCs. 90 MCs in a course of two months. Just that fast. I love this project, 100 MCs. For y'all who didn't watch part one, part two, part three. Go watch those. Catch up. Catch up on all the podcasts. Thank you for the support. I'm going to be here for a minute. It's the main event. Your hip hop fix, come see me, and I got you. That's all. More things to come. Like I said, you haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't heard nothing yet. It's me, the main event. You love it. You love the hip hop fix. Y'all need it. I need it. Hip hop is a drug. Hip hop is a way of life. I always say that. I always going to repeat myself with that because it's true. Hip hop is a way of life. I need hip hop in my life. You need hip-hop in your life. You need the main event in your life to give you that fix. That's what I'm saying. Now, I look at their list. I'm like, all right. Lauryn Hill, you know how I feel about that. I wish you would have kept rhyming. Biggie, to me, is the greatest rapper of all time, even though he did two albums. A lot of people might get debate with me, but, hey, that's my opinion. Yes, his two, al- two albums, body work is not enough to say, how can he be the greatest? To me, if he would have still been living, he would have made way more better albums than that. But, unfortunately, things happen. You know, I don't feel like going on that. He has passed away 25 years ago. How fast time flies on March 9th. Yikes. And real quick, I'd like to give a big shout out to my brother. Very good friend. His birthday was yesterday. The Mighty Mike C from the Fearless Four. Keep doing your thing, brother. Thanks for the respect. Thanks for the support. Motivate me to do this podcast. Mighty Mike C, Fearless Four, rocking it, problems of the world. And we still have problems of the world today, if you look around. That song right there, let's say that song real quick. And the things they sang in that song is still happening today. Crazy. And that song came out in 83. Produced by Curtis Blow, by the way. Now, a lot of people don't like to give Eminem his props only for one reason. Because he's white. But Eminem has bars. Eminem is sick. Eminem is sick with his style. One of my favorite MCs. I don't care. But a lot of people on this channel, a lot of people on different pages I, I, I go into groups, chat rooms, they don't like Eminem. They they. Hate is very strong word. They don't like him. I think only because he's white. He say things that, that make you go, hmm. But that boy can spit. 
That boy can spit. The boy got bars. Don't judge a man by his color. I, I judge a man by his bars, his flow, what he's going by. Like, real quick, change the subject. Nappy Roots is from Kentucky. I love them boys to death. Okay? So, I'm just, in general, I'm just going through, like I do the recap of all the MCs. All of them have great MCs on this list. Go back and check out the other podcasts, like I said, from part one to part three. And just get caught up on the main event. Like I said, Nas always gonna hold it down. Chuck D, Public Enemy. Come on. Legend. Fight the power. All that good stuff. Cool G Rap. Legend. Always be a legend. Bars for days. Queen Latifah. Come on. Q-Tip. Like I said, also produce. Rhymes. Breathe. Stop. Come on. Tropical Quest. Can I kick it? Exurgence. We got the jazz. All that. 3,000. One half of Outcast. Come on. See, that's ain't no more. I don't say 3,000 is... One of the illest, like I said, Rock Him, come on, God MC, Cameron, Harlem All Day. That's it's come on, I'm just saying. Now, I just recapping it. That's all I was doing. So just go back, check out this list, check out the other podcast from part one to part three to part two. This is part four, part five, like I said, will be out soon. Next podcast, I'm not gonna tell you what the title is, but it's strictly hip hop, more intense, deep in hip hop. Just give you that little a little hint right there. That's the next podcast going to be. I'm, I'm going in deep with the hip hop on this one, the next one. Because that's what y'all, y'all need me. And I need y'all. So thanks for all the support. Thank you, lastly, for all the birthday shout outs. I had a very good time. On Now, on this, I want to say peace out. But please stay in tune to the best podcast. Never heard. Get your fix on. Like I said, go back and check out the other podcasts. Female MCs, Greatest Shades in Hip Hop. And thanks to all the people out there. I will do a part two to Greatest Chase and Hip Hop. It is official. Greatest Chase and Hip Hop part two will be out real soon. I got y'all. So far, 91 will be in there. 91 will be in there and 93. Those are two years I have so far. I need to decide the other two yet. I'm just piggybacking doing a part two from my first podcast I made called Greatest Chase and Hip Hop. 88, 96, and 98. So on that note, I'm going to fade out. I want to catch y'all later. And just stay in tune with the best podcast never heard. I need y- y'all need me in your life. I need y'all in your life. Come get this fix. That's all you gotta do. The main event just presents just talking shift. And real quick, y'all, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Stay positive. Do your thing. And real quick, I stand alone just like the sun. And the sun always shines. That's one of my new quotes. I might be alone, but. I shine like the sun, and the sun always shines, because the sun is alone. So I'll catch you on the next one. Stay positive. Peace out. I ain't going to talk too much. You know how I do. Who am I? Oh, that's right. The main event. Peace.